Okay, so now that I have that area, I'm pretty much done. Wait a minute. How the fu- So you want to know how to make this... ...into something like this? It's actually really simple. If you've never masked before, what it really is, is it's basically just cutting out all the background space and leaving only the selected area active in the clip. Uh, and to do this, you have to go to your crop and pan button here, and you go and enable the mask button right under position there. Now you can start selecting the area that you want, like this. Now that we have that done, notice that we still have a stubborn little bitch right in the middle of my charmingly handsome man. Well, in order to mask that area too, all you gotta do is make another mask in the same keyframe. Do not use shift plus click. What that does is it's gonna give the mask the same properties as the previous one. You'll know what I mean when we go into the next section. Now that we have this second piece done, the difference here is that while you have the area selected, you gotta change the path mode from positive to negative. This will mask the inside instead of the outside of the selected area, just like so. And there you have it, champ! You now have a beautiful mask to show off to your aroused grandpa. Oh, shiny, what a beautiful mask. The really hard part <laughs> is doing the same thing to all frame now uh, assuming you want a really awesome mask you're gonna want to repeat the same steps that we did before it'll be very tedious if you want a really really top-notch mask however it'll, it'll be i'll make it really quickly since i just did it on the spot just like that big choco how am i supposed to do this for every fucking keyframe well you voluptuous fellow the previous keyframe remains the same for all the following frames, which means all you gotta do is just adjust the anchors. You do this by selecting the entire path in the next keyframe, so one. Now that it's switched, now that it moved, you can see that it's slightly moved over. And if you're a little if you wanna cheat a little bit, you can actually move a couple frames forward when it actually starts to move quite a bit. Now all you gotta do is, uh, like I said previously, you gotta move the keyframes. So you do this by selecting all of the path, you hold left control, you click it once, and then you can click and hold again, and now you're able to adjust this however you like for the next frame. And you gotta do this for every single anchor, for every single frame. And you just have to look for the really bugged out ones, such as these here. Just like so, and I'll do it really quickly for you. Make sure to do the ones on the inside too. <laughs> All right, so once you're done with every frame, this is what you get. Keep in mind that I did this in the span of like two or three <laughs> minutes, so it's gonna look like crap, but. That is the gist of how it's supposed to look. The, the mask is supposed to follow the clip. Uh, you can make you can make this a lot more finer than I did you uh, You can clearly see that it's, it doesn't look too great But if you really want to you can make as many keyframes as you want perfect it how you want make it look great um, But for this I just did it really quickly just to show you how it's done So now that it's complete this is completely transparent you can put whatever you want such as say this chicken photo here if I want to put it right there and you can see that it goes right on top of it but but keep in mind that, that this is only during the editing phase of your video if you were to just render this by itself this would not be transparent this would be masked as black okay this would be masked as black and what I tend to do is I like to put a green screen if you're just going to make the clip by itself. Oops. If you're just going to make the clip by itself, you I like to put a green screen behind it just like this. That way, when you use this clip in another video, you can always chroma key the green out of it super easily. And uh, it's a lot more easier than having it black like that. Because if you were to chroma key the black, it would probably take off that and stuff like that. So this I find much easier. But if you're just going to... 
uh, use the video, if you're just going to use this right in the editing portion of it, then it's completely transparent. It does not matter. And then that's it. You're now you're officially done. I'm so proud of you. Mwah. Well, if this helped you out, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and favorite and share. It helps me out a lot. Dro drop a comment below for any other tutorials that you want me to do, or if you have any questions. Uh, I love you and suck my dick. <laughs>